are you still in communication of a possible intervention over uh, an air mission in Syria? Yeah, I don't see any likelihood of that in the near future. As you know, what really made the uh, Libyan mission possible was ultimately the Security Council resolution, and I don't see the willingness of our allies to act militarily without such a resolution. So I think we will continue to see stepped up pressure through um, through uh, diplomatic and through other trade sanctions. The Prime Minister is also putting pressure on the United States, Canada's largest trading partner, as he looks to sell our coveted crude to new markets. And how serious are you, the concept of selling our oil to China? I mean, at the risk of angering Americans. Well, look, I'm, I'm very serious about um, selling our oil off this continent. When I was down in the United States recently, it was interesting. I ran into several senior Americans, all of whom said, don't worry, we'll get the Keystone done. You can sell all our oil, you, all your oil to us. And I said, yeah, we'd love to, but I think the problem is now we're on a different track. Seven months into his majority mandate, Harper's nearly done fulfilling one of his campaign promises to kill the gun registry. Under fire, though, is his decision to destroy all the records as well. We're abolishing the registry. If we didn't, if we didn't abolish the, if we didn't get rid of the data, we wouldn't be abolishing the registry. We think it's a bad policy that is not effective. And we're very clear on that. Not so clear. The prime minister's position on how his defense minister Peter McKay spends taxpayers' dollars from helicopters to lavish hotels. How do you square that in your head? You know, Canadians see you as a man who takes care of their money and then allows this kind of misspending to unfold. Well, well you, you know, the specific instance that I think you cite, Mr. McKay went to a conference. He stated the whole teleconference was being held in. Uh, that's what every other participant did. Um, that's, that's just the cost of doing business. We also talked with the Prime Minister and Mrs. Harper about raising a family. And like any parent, protecting their kids in the age of the Internet. Are they on Facebook? They look at it, all their friends and stuff are on Facebook, but we don't encourage them, them to do. They do email and stuff like that. Do they say, come on, Dad, everyone else is on Facebook. Come on, Mom. No, they, they're, they're pretty understanding. They, I mean, you know, they don't want everybody to know their, you know, their business and stuff like that. So they, are, they, they understand. They are aware of who they are as well and what the, you know, that there are, there are risks. But they're, they're not, not cut out from the world.